squad is up guys aka zero we've got a black ops editing tutorial and today we're going to be looking at how to create this really sort of nice lens flare in the top right hand corner that really nice orangey sort of sun lens flare quite a few people have requested how to do this and it's pretty simple to be fair all you need is an external plugin for after effects called no light factory and basically what that is that's just a bunch of really cool lens flares and kind of like optical flares but not as good but I suppose you could use optical flares for this as well and you can also use the standard lens flares that come within After Effects but I find no light factory works best and we get the best results so what we're going to do is we're going to head on into After Effects and I've got this clip it's a bit different to to the one I just showed you it's the Spaz 12 It hasn't been colour corrected or anything yet, I suppose we'll, we can do that after or in another tutorial. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to within After Effects, File, Import, and then we're going to import our clip. Cool, and once that's in there, if we select this and we drag it down to this button here, basically what that does, that creates a composition specifically for that clip so it's the right size it's the right fat frame rate it's it's all ready and good to go so if you just put the quality on half just for now cool so next we're going to go to file new adjustment layer and then with the adjustment layer selected we're going to go to file go down to no light factory once you've downloaded and installed it and then go to Light Factory EZ and we click on that and if we go over here to flare type we've got loads and loads and loads and loads of different flares different sort of really nice sort of flares and lens flares and some of them are a bit over t over the top, but I like that one, that's a bit over the top. But the one we're going to be using today is called Sunset, which is this one right here. And I encourage you to, to play around with all the different lens flares, all the different settings to try and make it your own. So I encourage you to, to use different ones, have a play around, see what works best for you and what works best for your clip. Because obviously all clips are going to be different, there's going to be different colours in in there so have a play around see what works best so with this sunset selected we're going to move it right up into the corner so we can't see well you can't see the actual middle bit of it and then we're going to go over to brightness and just increase the brightness a little bit and you can really bump it up if you want but I just like it so it's enough so that we can see it Yeah, that looks pretty good and then we can also keyframe this so if we press the little stopwatch button here this one right here if we click that and then if we click on the adjustment layer and then hit U on the keyboard that brings up all the keyframes that we've made so if you move to about three or four seconds in a timeline and then we just bump up the brightness a little bit and you can see that's automatically made a keyframe and then we'll move a few seconds further into the clip and then maybe drop it down just a little bit and you can see that's made another keyframe and then if we move further down the timeline you can either bump it up more or drop it down lower I'm gonna drop it down lower and then if we hit shift and select all these keyframes and then hit F9 that creates an easy ease keyframe which basically means it will smooth smooth it out so it looks nice so you can see now the lens flare is getting brighter as it's moving up and then it will get lower
and then it will kind of gradually fade away to the end. You can see it started to fade in now. So there we go, that's just a very quick basic tutorial on how to create this really nice sort of lens flare. So let me know your feedback in the comment box below. Um, just to let you know, I do have a colour correction coming out for Black Ops soon. I'm still working on the colour correction at the moment, so I'm going to find out what works best and then I'll be releasing another tutorial for that. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the latest videos if you haven't already. So thanks for watching, really appreciate it, see you later.